There are no we're gonna everyone can hear me here. And I just put the slide up. I'm this is I was thinking about this the other day, mm -hmm. and then we, we didn't have time to do it, and I did the other lecture yesterday. Let's go through a scenario here. If you take a trade and the risk amount is fifteen hundred dollars and your profit's five hundred dollars, are you happy or not? So you would, and this is, this is not a, this is not a, you're not giving me a dissertation. This is a, are you happy or not? Yes or no? Journey Limit says yes. Mountain Girl says yes. Galahad says no. Your answer is no too. Okay. So we got a lot of different answers. If your risk amount is 2000 and your profit's 3000 are you happy? Yes or no? Really, you're not happy with three thousand, and you risk well, two thousand. Just, just the, the amount of risk in relation to what I'm getting back. So you're not happy there. Yeah, I'm looking at another one. Okay, I'm I think Eric's that. already at back of the <laughs> IRS <laughs> next week. <laughs> I, okay, is anybody else happy or not happy? Journey Woman's very happy. Galahad's happy. Susanna's happy. Risk amount seventeen fifty. Loss is a thousand. Are you happy or not? Oh no. Oh, that's an easy one. What about the rest of you? Are you happy if you lose a thousand dollars and risk seventeen fifty? Galahad said no. I almost thought Galahad was going to say yes. Because <laughs> Galahad would be used to losing the entire amount. Okay, risk amount fifteen hundred. And again, this is close enough here with these because sometimes it varies when you're taking a trade and it's quick. Fifteen hundred profit for thousand. Are you happy? Yes, that's now sexy you're happy. One, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. a sexy one. Eric said he's happy with one thing. <laughs> All right, Galad says yes. Jeremy one says yes. Susanna says great. Yeah. I don't think anyone would disagree. Risk amount fifteen hundred. Loss fifteen hundred. Happy or not happy? No. no. Anyone else? Galahad's happy with losing fifteen hundred if you risk fifteen hundred. Susanna says okay. Journey woman says no. What's the moral of the story? Go. What am the I trying to get size. across here? The risk size. Meaning what? Or what are you saying? Um, the amount of risk you want to uh, profit. I don't know. I, yeah. No, what is the point of this lecture? What do you think is the point of what I'm trying to get across here? This is very, very basic. Just a couple of minutes we're going to talk about this. What? Does anyone else want to chime in? What's the point I'm trying to get across here with this? How much? Um, it's all in relative to what you... I don't know. No, go ahead and just guess. I mean, nobody else really? is saying. Profit to risk, Galahad's yeah, saying. Well, You're trying to say it's the amount of win or loss size. Yeah, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> Bernie mm. says. I don't know. Okay. The, the point is that any trade that you take that you make money, you should be happy. Oh. And people <laughs> said, yeah, people <laughs> said no here. Yeah. People said, no, you're not happy if you make $500. You said, no, you're not made happy if you make 3000 You actually said you weren't happy if you made 3000 risking two. That's yeah, one and a half. Oh, yeah, That's we'll one and happy. a half. Okay. No, you said no. This is a loss. This is a loss. This is a profit. This is a profit. This is a profit. That's, nice. That's for your, the amount of money you risk is, yeah. That's not the point. The point is that you should be happy whenever you make money in the market because most people lose. So if you can consistently make money or make any money at all, how can you feel bad about yourself? You can't. You have to be happy when you make money. Some of you are. Some of you are not. But I will tell you, it is very, it's become extremely clear to me now because this year, in the, last, in the last three to six months, I have taught brand new people that have never traded before and, and are, are doing better than people that have been trading for a while and making more money than them because they are happy when they are up and they get out and they are exceeding their goals, exceeding their expectations, okay? So the bottom line is when you feel good about yourself, you will get up and do the right actions. When you feel shitty, you won't, or the chances are you won't. So if you are happy making $500, then the next day you get up, you'll be happy when you make $3,000. you will be happy when you make $4,000. you will be happy when you make 1000 
If you get up and you feel shitty when you risk $1,500 and you make $500, then chances are the next day when you get up and risk $2,000, you will knock it out when you're up $3,000. You will try to make four or $4,500 and you may not be able to and you may lose two or you may lose one. You may lose. You may go from a winning trade to a losing trade. This is not about trades that actually go like one red bar and then flip and stop us out. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about in general trades that have a move. Like the move that happened today in Zoom Z and the trade completely flipped, went over the high, went over the high of the day and the stock went green. If you didn't get out of that and you insisted that you had, a, had to have two R's or three R's in that trade today, it did not give it. It didn't give it. It didn't go to $17. The entry was $17.90-ish or something. It did not go a dollar. It did not go there. It flipped and went green. If you had to make two R's plus in that trade today, you lost in the whole trade. Do you see? Whatever your risk was. That's the second one that's really interesting. Why? It's what about this one, one here? This is something that kills you deep inside. Huh? Because it's like, yeah, I guess, I don't know. Here, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this even more crazy. Here, I'm taking this off so the room doesn't see. Hold on. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to make it even more nuts. Oh, no. Let's just see how honest you people can be. You're gonna give different answers here. I don't even have to quiz you to know that you will. If you're spending that much money. What? Little flip houses, I don't know. Hold on. Direct mail, something. If you risk fifteen thousand dollars and your profit is five thousand dollars, are you happy? Are you happy? If you risk $15,000 and you make $5,000, are you happy? Yes or no? no? Galahad says no. I'm convinced Galahad's never happy. <laughs> are you happy? Not really. If you have $15,000 to risk in the trade and you make $5,000, you're not going to be happy. For real. If you risk $20,000 and your profit's $30,000, are you happy? Yeah, okay, yeah, probably, yeah. okay, you're happy yeah, with this one, but you weren't risking two yeah. versus three. Do you see how... Yeah, so zeros. If you risk seventeen thousand five hundred dollars and you lose two ten thousand, are you happy? No, I'm hurt, man. You know what? Ooh. It depends, and let me tell you why. Right. Because you could have saved yourself from a trade that isn't working right, mm. and you could have killed it, and you could have lost seventeen five. You say, "Holy crap!" The market gap down, the stock gap down. This didn't go the way I thought. Mm. I thought this was going to work. Something crazy happened. Trump got elected, <laughs> and now. I saved myself 7,500 because this thing didn't work like I thought. You might actually be happy losing $10,000 because something did not work right. Because something crazy happened. China, whatever. Risk amount 15,000, profit 40,000, are you happy? Yes. Risk amount 15,000, lost 15,000, are you happy? No, no, you're not happy, okay. Rumi says yes, yes to all. Yes to all. If you had a million dollar account, you could take risk like this without a million dollars. You don't need a million dollars to take risk like this. People take risk like this all the time and really? trades like this and don't have a million dollars. Sure. You could have 250 oh. grand in an account and risk 20 grand in an option trade. Of course you could. You know what you're doing. <laughs> but the point is, though, that do you see here if you add a couple commas and a couple zeros, you know, that it, it, it makes it look a lot different. And I could add even more zeros, and I could add even more commas. And here, here's another one. I could say, what if your risk amount is, I'm gonna go off the charts here now. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, here. Yeah. Do you want to tell me that if you risk $1.5 oh, million dollars and you make a half a million dollars, you're not going to be happy with that? You would be happy with that. Do you know that people do that? 
people do that. People take option trades and enrich $1.5 million and they make a half a million dollars in a day or two days or a week, like in that Google trade. Do you really honestly not believe me? Yes, that's exactly what happens. There are people that are trading Google options that will take size like this and they will risk this kind of money and they will be in and out with an expiration in a couple of days. They will take it on a Monday or take it on a Tuesday and then we'll get out on a Wednesday or a Thursday. Yes, they will. They will make 30% of their money and they will never make 30% of their money in a checking account or savings account or certificate of deposit or anywhere else. And if they want to make 30%, they could be a hard money lender and then 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 they're really at risk. It's even more risky than the market and they won't see the money in a week. They'll see the money in six to 12 months or maybe never if the person doesn't pay them that owes them as a hard money lender. I'm telling you right now, you people have to add some commas and zeros because the way that you're looking at things doesn't make any sense when you start to add up the money and you're never going to get to this point that you're risking $1.5 million if you're, and to make a half a million if you don't understand this. You're never going to get to the point if you want to be wealthy. Some of you don't care. Some of you are doing extremely well. I'm talking about the people that are back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, not getting it. This is 30% of your money. And if you have $1.5 million to risk and you have $100 million in the bank, you can do this and you are very happy. And you know what you're doing and you make money. Do you understand? And then every once in a while, you will risk $2 million. I should. Yeah. And then, I, I didn't even know where I was going with this today, but I know in my mind, because I think like this in my mind, um, and I've been thinking like this ever since really like last year. If you wish $2 million and make $3 million, yeah, that's going to happen every once in a while if you know what you're doing, because you're going to get something that runs right up and through the strike the next day or does something like Baba, and you're going to say, holy crap. Woo! You know, and you did it, and you have that. And then you might take a month off, and you might take and not take any trades, because you're going to be like, gosh, that was so amazing. And again, going back here, this is even more show with the losses. If you risk $1.75 million, and China talks about whatever, and the market gaps down, and this beautiful, fantastic Google that's in an uptrend, you know, or it fails on the earnings or whatever, and all of a sudden you get up in the morning and you're like, holy crap, I'm down a million dollars. Take it, take it all, get me out. Mm. Because you saved yourself 750000 because something happened that you didn't expect. You can't predict and no one can predict. So you save yourself seven fifty, and you might be happy. But you lost a million, but there's nothing you can do. Okay, Galahad, I don't, I can't, I spent a month with you. There's nothing more that I can say to try to help you with all of this. I just don't know what to say. I, I really did the best I can trying to help you with this whole thing about being Mr. Perfect with the exits. You want to maximize every trade, go for it. I can't give you any more advice. I, I just don't know what to say. Your risk is all over the place. You must cut your losses when they don't work half. You have to be more consistent with the amount you risk. If you want to hold every trade till it goes bust or every trade till you maximize the profit, I don't know how you're going to be able to calculate that. I have, I have no idea because I can't even. I can't. I could never have predicted... Well, I couldn't never have predicted. I said that Google was probably going to make a new high this week, but I didn't know if it would be Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. As it turns out, it was the last day of the option expiration. You know? So you have targets, but timing of these things is, is, is very difficult. It's, very, it's much, much easier in the day trades to, to look at them and see how they act in the morning. When they start to sell off really fast, you can tell then that it's gonna go. Like when the Zoom Z broke, I could say this is definitely gonna go to 1750. Mm -hmm. And then you're watching, 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 you're in it, and you let it break a little bit, boom, you take it. You, then you're like, okay, fine, it's backing up. What are the chances of it going to 17? As the day goes on, less and less, and then it flipped. FNSR, once it broke and it started to look like it was gonna hold and then broke and still broke early, then you say 28, 28 in sight. You gotta watch how the stock trades, but to be able to predict with exact accuracy to get out at every single trade at the high that's long and every trade that's a short at the low is impossible. And if that's what your objective is, then you will fail. And there's nothing I can do. So the day trades are not different. The money management's the same. You have to be realistic with what your expectations are and you have to be happy when you get out of every trade with money. And that was the point of this. And sometimes you'll be out, you actually get out with a loss and you will, you will save yourself. You will have saved yourself from, the, from a worse loss because you will realize that something happened that was unexpected and that will happen. It does happen. 
It happens in day trades and it happens in options. It happens in the market and this is what it is real. But it is just as unexpected sometimes when you have something like Baba that you risk 300 bucks and make $1,700 and that happens too. So you get out, you know? Anyways, good lecture here. Good, good, good lecture. Listen, have a great weekend, everyone. If you want to retake the class, email me. If you want to do the class, email me. It's Sunday and Monday. I'm going to spend a little time here with Eric before we go out and both trek out into the snow in, in New York. And uh, good lecture. Good week, okay? All right, have a great day, everyone. Best lecture ever. Oh. <laughs> when I start talking about making half a million dollars, that's a good lecture, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to do this again on the big board. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Did you see the point, though, I was trying to make in this? Did it come across now?